In the first few videos, we've talked almost exclusively about posts. In this video, we're going to shift gears a bit and talk about pages. If you'll remember from the second video in this series, pages differ from posts in that they typically contain static content that doesn't change very often. Examples of this on our demo site are the About Us or Contact Us pages. Posts, on the other hand, are articles, and they appear chronologically on a blog page, usually with the newest article on top. Because pages live outside of the chronological blog stream, they're not displayed with the rest of your posts, but are displayed individually, kind of like permanent posts. In general, pages and posts are similar in that they both are essentially made up of a title and body text, but they differ in a few key ways. First of all, pages are not assigned to categories or tagged, but they can have a hierarchy. You can nest pages under other pages by making one the parent of the other. When a subpage is created, it typically appears underneath its page parent in a drop-down menu in the navigation bar. Unlike posts, pages can use different page templates to make a specific page layout, for example, a contact form or a sign-up page. By default, the 2012 theme utilizes a clean, two-column page layout with a sidebar. But this page has no sidebar. That's because this page has been assigned the full-width page template, which has no sidebar. Also, unlike posts, pages are not assigned categories or tags. Their order is determined either from their relationship to a parent page or the page order, which determines where the pages appear in the list. I'll use the toolbar to add a new page, which will take us directly to the Add New subpanel under the Pages menu item. And let's create a new page called The Inspiration Behind Our Company. And I'll assign this page a shorter permalink since we want it to be easy for folks to remember. Next, I'll copy and paste some content that I created earlier. The Page Attributes box is where we can nest this page underneath a parent page. We can choose a specific page template and set the order of this page in the menu. I'll assign this page to the fifth position within our list of pages. Click Publish. And now let's go view this page on our site. As you can see, our new page has been added to the menu at the top of our site in the fifth position. And this page looks different than our other standard pages because it's using the full width page template, which has no sidebar along the right hand side of the page. The Pages subpanel provides all the tools that we need to edit, delete, or view individual pages. And as with posts, you can select multiple pages for deletion or for bulk editing. The Bulk Edit tool allows certain metadata to be edited for an entire group of pages. For example, we can change the author, select a new parent page, choose a page template, enable or disable comments, or update the status for an entire group of pages at once. And of course, the Quick Edit function enables us to update the details for an individual page, including the title, permalink, date, and other page parameters. All right, now that you have a good understanding of posts and pages, let's talk about how to add visual interest by inserting photos and images into your content. 